The Abyssinians originated in India, in and around the Bay of Bengal. They claim that they've been there since just about forever. People claim thousands of years. I question that. The Abyssinian is an extremely active cat, if not one of the most active. It is not the kind of cat that you leave in a house unattended. Uh, if you're into home renovating, it will help you. If you're into playing with your cars, it will help you. Uh, they love computers and will try to take over there as well. Okay, the Abbey is a very unique cat in that it's what is known in the cat fancy is a ticked cat. The fur is layered by color. If you were able to take a single strand of Abbey fur, you would find that the different places on that strand there were different colors. And this is what they call the ticking. There are four terms used for abbeys. There are sorrel, there are ruddies, there are fawns, and there are blues. And in each case it, it uh, talks about the shades in the various places on the strands of fur. They only speak when they've got something to say. They don't go around uh, just babbling. I'm of the opinion all cats are indoor cats. The problem is that they're such individual creatures that if they get outdoors, uh, danger can come to them very quickly because of their attitudes. So, in my opinion, there is no such thing as an outdoor cat. It's a family cat for an active family. Again, if the family likes to sit and watch television, the Abbey will be standing in front of the screen trying to get you to do something else. The Abbeys are active and they like an active family. They're excellent with children because children tend to be active so they fit into the Abbey's way of doing things very well. They're very well with other pets except that they tend to run the other pets. Other cats, pets, dogs, whatever, don't realize that the Abbey's running everything. The Abyssinians are normally excellent travelers. When we bring them to the shows we have one young lad who uh, sits in my lap most of the way. Uh, he prefers to look around, see what's going on and just generally enjoy the trip. They're very low maintenance cats. Uh, there isn't much to do in the way of cleaning up after them. They don't shed much and they normally don't need much in the way of grooming. With a bit of health care and with some good breeding and some intelligent ownership, they can live into the late teens.